What do you get when Hollywood's two hottest stars hook up and make a baby? <laughs> Only the most fabulous newborn in megastar history. Shiloh Nouvelle Jolie Pitt. I'm very, very fortunate. Yeah. In the next half hour, we'll take you from the bump watch that turned into an uncontrollable media frenzy. Baby picture is the hottest picture of the year, and we would pay in the millions for it. Check this out. To the mountain of unbelievable baby gear this kid is getting for free. We are sending a very special pacifier. It has over 278 individual white diamonds. To the inside story of the most deluxe birth in celebrity history. It was $325,000 just to have a place for this baby to be born. Plus, we'll show you baby Brangelina's super fab real estate portfolio. And we'll even employ the best in fab life technology to give you a glimpse of what Shiloh will look like at 80. Every child is precious. Hey, Kevin. But this kid's straight up priceless. This is the fabulous life of Brad and Angelina's baby. Saturday, May 27, 2006. Nighttime. In the African country of Namibia, a seven-pound baby named Shiloh Nouvelle Jolie Pitt is born. The first biological child of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. The hottest little bundle in Hollywood history. Brad Pitt is the biggest superstar. Angelina is the hottest woman alive. The whole country waited for this and it finally happened. Shiloh is thought to mean Messiah, which comes as no surprise considering this baby was as anticipated as the second coming. It's possible that this baby is an even bigger star than her Hollywood parents. Ah, uh, yes. This little tot is already on the fast track to being an A-list celebrity. There was an insane media frenzy around baby Brangelina. From the moment that Angelina started showing, people just wanted to see pictures of her bump. This kid was famous in utero. Before the baby was born, she was on over 50 covers of magazines. Life and Style Weekly magazine dedicated 13 covers to the Baby Shiloh Bump Watch. In Touch did 13. Us Weekly, 7. OK Magazine, 5. And for Star Magazine, the Baby Shiloh story graced a whopping 16 covers. Star was the first to raise the possibility of a baby Brangelina, and we did it last summer with this cover. Star has been all over this story. Uh, we, we have a reporter in Namibia right now. We had a photographer there. It's our job to find out what has been going on with baby Brangelina. Because hey! the Brangelina bump watch had become an international obsession. In fact, in January 2006, People Magazine paid $400,000 for the first Preggers pick of Angelina. She arranged for Wyclef Jean's charity to be the benefactor in this situation. Someone from that charity snapped the picture and the $400,000 it went for went right back to Wyclef's charity. And as the trimesters ticked by, the price just kept getting higher. The picture craze sort of reached a frenzy when People Magazine bought pictures of a very pregnant Angelina in the Namibian desert for $700,000. It's, it's so surreal. And while pics of the expecting Angelina generated multi-millions, landing the first actual picture of baby Brangelina became the holy grail of celebrity photography. The bidding war for this baby's picture went crazy. There was talk that it was gonna be five million dollars for a picture, three million, seven million. The numbers were huge. One of the highest bidders, the gossip gods at OK Magazine. The baby picture is the picture of the year, the hottest picture of the year.
We would pay in the millions for it. That's right, millions for a single snapshot. But it's not just about shelling out the cash, it's about schmoozing Shiloh's mommy and daddy too. We're talking to the couple directly and trying to get them away from snatched, grainy paparazzi shoots. We're trying to say, look, come here in a controlled environment and we'll print the beautiful first photos around the world. But who's actually getting the picture? No one knows for sure, but word is People Magazine has the inside track. People Magazine was rumored to have got the first pictures for $3.5 million, which was then donated to Angelina's favorite charity, UNICEF. And if that's true, at 3.5 mil, it'll be six times what Britney Spears was paid for the first shots of her little Sean Preston. Having a kid makes everything so wonderful. Any person with any kind of baby product is desperate to give truckloads of free stuff to baby Brangelina. Everybody knows that whatever this kid touches is gonna sell like hotcakes, so that's why they're giving a lot of free things. It's so important for baby companies to surround this baby with free stuff that they're doing it by any means possible. They are going through stylists, they're going through the parents' publicists, they're going through agents. So any person who's remotely related to Brad and Angelina is getting bombarded with stuff for the baby. You're not kidding. Eyewear designer Parker G sent 500 bucks worth of free baby sunglasses. Petite couture designer Bloom Love shipped her $1,000 worth of knitwear for nothing. I'm happy. <laughs> and t-shirt designer CNC totally hooked her up. CNC California has put together this fabulous package of seersuckers, delicious cashmeres, cotton gauzes, and all kinds of fabulous pieces to layer up. Baby Brangelina is going to be the first to receive all these fabulous pieces. The entire package is worth over $1,500. And while Shiloh raked in thousands in free fashions, her nursery is getting hooked up too. The New York-based designer of baby interiors, Kimberly Hall, is sending everything she needs to trick out her baby room like mom's favorite place, Africa. We're sending the baby a beautiful basket of gifts filled with all kinds of treasures that would remind the baby of Africa, including a Moses basket, a Moroccan embroidered stool, a lion-themed hat and bib, a handmade giraffe from Madagascar, a zebra pillow that's worth approximately $2,200. And you'd better believe every super chic stroller on the market is rolling right to baby Shiloh, all for free including the world's priciest pram. This is the $3,000 top-the-line Rolls-Royce of baby strollers that Silver Cross is sending. Baby Brangelina will absolutely feel like she is riding on a cloud. It was reported in a UK newspaper that Angelina was specifically interested in a Silver Cross pram. When we heard the news, we immediately sent one to her. If Angelina even hints that she's interested in a baby product, the next day there'll be 20 of them at her door. I, I, I'm very, very fortunate. And if you think a free $3,000 stroller is over the top, you haven't seen anything yet. When the It's My Binky pacifier company heard Shiloh Nouvelle was on the way, they sent her a one-of-a-kind binky fit for a jewelry box. For baby Brangelina, we are sending a very special pacifier. It's the only one in the world like it, and it's part of our new diamond collection. The pacifier is made of 14 karat European white gold, and it has over 278 individual white diamonds, totaling about three carats. Baby Brangelina is truly a royal baby, so of course we would want to gift the baby with the most expensive pacifier in the world. And this freebie, it retails for $17,000. That's one high-priced way to plug a cry hole. <laughs> During the nine months Angelina Jolie was carrying Shiloh Nouvelle Jolie Pitt, this kid racked up some serious frequent flyer miles in her mommy's globe-trotting womb. The itinerary? Dubai, Haiti, Germany, France, Pakistan, Japan, Switzerland, England, the Dominican Republic, and finally, <sighs> Namibia. More jet-setting than most of us will do in a lifetime, and she wasn't even born yet. 
From the moment that little Shiloh was conceived, she was living a fabulous life. Baby Brangelina has got to be the most expensive, elaborate birth in celebrity baby history. This birth could have cost upwards of a million dollars when you consider the private plane on hand, the security guards, the round-the-clock doctors, and the private location. No expense was too high, no travel plans too extreme, no delivery room too deluxe. All to make sure baby Brangelina had a birth that was beyond VIP. Starting with the location. Yeah. To welcome Shiloh, Brad and Angelina set up camp in the African paradise called Namibia at the legendary Burning Shore Resort, a chic oasis on the desert coastline. With 12 luxury suites with jacuzzis overlooking the ocean and personal dune buggies to cruise the world's largest sand dunes. And for baby Brangelina, the entire resort was shut down just so she could be born into her own personal African paradise. They rented out the entire Burning Shore Resort for two months. It was $325,000 just to have a place for this baby to be born. We want to do something new and different. But renting out a fancy hotel for a newborn? That's just the beginning. Mom and Dad also flew in a highly paid entourage, including a nanny, a private chef, and a team of top-flight international doctors. Brad and Angelina spared no expense when it came to their medical entourage. Dr. Jason Rothbard, Angelina's personal obstetrician, was flown in from Los Angeles and delivered baby Shiloh at the Cottage Mediclinic Hospital. Brad and Angelina decided to celebrate the birth of little Shiloh in classic Angelina fashion, which was to give $300,000 to two Namibian maternity hospitals. But the best thing about this kid's A-list birth? Total protection from the paparazzi. Because mommy and daddy spent major bank to turn the Burning Shore Resort into a high security compound, including a no fly zone over her hotel, shaded screens around the property, around the clock private security, and local police stationed at all hotel entrances. Most celebrities have bodyguards, but this is over the top. There were at least 10 bodyguards on call at all times for the baby. And then there was Shiloh's secret weapon. Her tough-ass baby bodyguard named Mickey Brad. His specialty, the ancient martial art of paparazzi whoop-ass. Mickey Brad is Angelina's longtime British bodyguard. He used to watch over Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock. This guy is seriously tough. At one point, he was even arrested for murder. A photographer actually dug a ditch to try and get a picture of Angelina when she was pregnant. Mickey caught the guy right in front of the kids. But if you think Shiloh got a serious first taste of VIP treatment in Africa, wait till you see the luxurious home life waiting for her back in LA. Check this out. When baby Shiloh makes her triumphant return home to Los Angeles, she'll have a whole array of estates to choose from because her father Brad is a real estate connoisseur. Rock, rock, rock the house, yo. First, she's got dad's $4 million oceanfront Santa Barbara palace. Then daddy's got the $8 million Malibu compound with pools, tennis courts, and a secluded beach. And for her house in the hills, it's Brad Swank gated compound in the oak section of LA's trendy Los Feliz neighborhood. Hey, Kevin. Brad's Los Feliz compound really is just that, a compound, because he not only has the first house that he bought, but he slowly bought up houses around that house. Lots of space for a family to live in. And best of all, the entire community is gated, so they have the ultimate security 24 hours a day. But all of Daddy's fancy estates, they weren't fit for bringing home a kid as precious as Shiloh Nouvelle. So Mommy and Daddy launched one of the biggest baby renovation projects of all time, 
This baby was so highly anticipated that her parents were renovating Brad Pitt's homes in California to prepare for her arrival. In the Malibu house, they were building a nursery, a play area, and installing a high security system. But that's nothing compared to what's happening at Dad's Los Feliz compound, where three construction crews are working around the clock to make the home baby ready. We are standing here in front of the ultra-exclusive gate up to the Oaks, which is in Los Feliz in Los Angeles. If you live behind this gate, you're in the best part of the Oaks. This is where Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, and the three kids may make their home soon. The rumor is that he has three shifts of construction workers at the house round the clock, retouching, painting, getting everything perfect. As baby Shiloh grows up, this will be a terrific place because the property itself is so spectacular and so lush, it's like growing up in a giant, oversized, wooden palace. Welcome home, baby Shiloh. What exactly is it like to be a kid in the Jolie Pitt clan? Just ask Shiloh Nouvelle's older sibs, Zahara and Maddox. One day they're on the merry-go-round, the next it's family fun day at the circus, and every day is an A-list play date at the park or a kiddie shopping spree. Ready for the real fab life, baby Shiloh? Oh yeah! It's gonna be a really fun household to be in for this baby. If you're a kid in the Jolie Pitt family, you are gonna be having fun 24 hours a day. This isn't gonna be one of those kids who's trapped in the Hollywood bubble. Brad and Angelina take their children all over the world. This kid is gonna have the most fabulous life ever. The first fabulous thing about baby Brangelina is the money. This baby will never want for anything. This baby will really get to share both parents' money. Brad and Angelina are really above the Hollywood paycheck line. We get money over here. Take 2005's Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It wasn't just the flick that brought baby Brangelina's mom and dad together. It also put some major cash into Shiloh's college fund. Angelina made $10 million, and Brad took home 20 mil. And that's just an average movie payday. In 2005, Brad did a Heineken commercial, which aired in the US only once, and he made $6 million for that. Angelina did a clothing campaign for St. John's Knits and made $12 million for that. Together, Shiloh's parents are worth a whopping $150 million. If you divide that up between their three kids, this baby's already worth $50 million. But all that green, it's nothing compared to what Shiloh Nouvelle has to look forward to when she looks in the mirror. Talk about a gene pool here. Let's just examine for a minute. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Name somebody who is hotter than those two. You can't. They both show up on any list that there ever is for the sexiest, the most beautiful. In 2004, Esquire magazine voted Angelina the sexiest woman in the world. In 2005, it was FA Jam. And this year, she topped People magazine's 100 most beautiful list. And Brad Pitt? People Magazine crowned him the sexiest man alive twice. You can pretty much guarantee that this baby is going to be one of the most beautiful women in the world when she grows up. The birth is just the beginning for this baby. Every year, people are going to want to see, is she more beautiful? What does she look like now? Yeah, well, we couldn't wait that long. So we decided to construct what Shiloh will look like at 18 years old using our state-of-the-art fab life technology. We took mom's luscious lips and high cheekbones, dad's piercing blue eyes and blonde locks, topped it off with some of the killer Jolie attitude and subtracted 10 years. The result? Our fab life rendering of Ms. Shiloh Nouvelle Jolie Pitt. Oh, baby. Good genes, big bank, and one of the hottest family units in Hollywood history. Let us be the first to wish you, Shiloh Nouvelle, a long, happy, and most of all, fabulous life. Now when I say fab, y'all say life, fab, life, fab, life. When I say fab, y'all say life, fab. Oh, yeah. You wanna ball like me, uh, floss like me, wear Gucci 
she a Louis Vuitton like me, dressed like me, get the best like me, private planes on the rest like me, Crystal Heights, forget about the price, I'm living that fab life, when I say something I don't think twice, I'm living that fab life, now when I say fab, yo.